Welcome to Channel May Make your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about my great to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side so once we have all the updates and news, be the first one getting all the insight. Now, this morning we got a break in news. Uh, well, coming directly from the Prime Minister's uh, office with the news release. Uh, and perhaps you already know it is with regards to the Kiwis. New Zealand citizen now can easily transfer and obtain Australian citizenship right after 1st July 2023. Now, that's exciting news and it has been developed uh, since the Labour government uh, has took place from the former government and announced the release. And obviously, it's, uh, uh, it's all more of open uh, and generous uh, approach towards multiculturalism and also immigration. So let's have a look uh, what the news is all about and we're going to go into the Prime Minister's uh, actual statement as well and at, by the end of this video I'll also talk about a little bit about uh, what the procedure will be like and in compare to the previous uh, pathway shall we. Okay now let's, call, let's go into the SBS news as they um, they have captured this all uh, thing. Was, uh, it, it was just a follow up from the visits of the uh, New Zealand Prime Minister to uh, Canberra, Australia, uh, not long ago. Uh, and obviously, you can see the uh, title says it's only fair. Hmm, okay, New Zealand to guess their pathway to Australian citizenship. Now, why did they say that? Because New Zealand as a government and a country does offer a pathway for Australian citizen uh, to transfer and obtain New Zealand citizens straight away as well. But for the past 10, perhaps 20 years, uh, Australia has not been offering the uh, same deal as what the New Zealand has offered to the Australians and in the in, with the former government they actually made it more stricter and uh, deported uh, many uh, New Zealand citizens from Australia who perhaps was born and have lived in Australia for a long time deport them back to New Zealand and cause a lot of issues so anyway um, this is all about uh, the Australian government is coming to a sense uh, where they bring in the harmony of multiculturalism into Australia and they are potentially some 400,000 New Zealand living in Australia will soon have their pathway and I knew that the um, the cost of the uh, application is only a couple hundred bucks so it's it's actually very very welcoming news for all the kiwis living in australia uh and obviously i think it's a it's a not it's again uh, over the past uh year there has been a lot of criticism and the news article talking about how australian government may uh you know putting a tricks you know an, a, another fraud again you know trying to trick people to come to australia to work and not giving them the right to stay permanently now we can see the current government uh the current labor government albanese government is that actually uh, implementing and putting things in action to prove that Australia is a state, a country welcoming immigrants. Okay, so key point here, the government will create a pathway to citizenship for New Zealanders and who have lived for at least four years won't need permanent residency before applying. So previous form, uh, it's strangely, they're giving a, a, a visa category uh, under subclass triple four, uh, which allows New Zealanders to live permanently, permanently in Australia and still require to apply for a permanent residency. So who the heck is going to apply for that? If, uh, if you're already being able to live in Australia permanently, why would you apply for another permanent residency and apply for citizenship after permanent residency especially the the cost of a permanent residency uh, in compare to what the New Zealand is offering to Australia and to New Zealand is so high uh, so it's coincide with the 50th anniversary of trans Tasman so Tasman is the if you don't know is that's a Tasman Sea is the the sea between Australia and New Zealand 
Okay, so hundreds of half thousands of New Zealand living in Australia will be claiming their citizenship. So welcome and please forward to your mates if you have friends who holds New Zealand citizenship and passport in Australia. This is the opportunity because you once you obtain citizenship in Australia, you you have more rights uh, for the elders, for the kids, the school, universities. So why not? Don't, don't, you know, just do that. Okay. Uh, so the change will overturn of 2001's decision that was back. Can you imagine we are in 2023? This is rewinding things back 22 years ago. Okay, uh, and this means by July, uh, people living in Australia, New Zealand living in Australia, uh, will be able to access, I believe, this online form. So all you need to do, obviously, we can assist you with a couple hundred bucks, but you can, you may as well just DIY yourself, uh, bring your family together. A uh, decision uh, is bring a huge array of rights, many New Zealand, uh, New Zealanders in Australia, so for sure. So um, New Zealand citizens um, at the changes. So there's some happy faces going on with the kids, babies. So I'm not gonna go into those details of the what the media report, but you may want to. They they they're all, all over the place uh, if you want to search on Google. But let's jump ahead to the uh, the statement, the media release by the prime ministers this morning uh, so here we go so prime minister anthony Albanese and the minister of home affairs minister of immigration citizenship and multicultural affairs have today announced new direct pathway for australian citizenship for eligible new zealand citizens so how eligible what is the eligibility what we have no i, I try to go into immigration's website uh unfortunately um if you want to try that it's still empty uh, it, it will say it will come effect uh, by 1st of July. So there's not much of information on immigration website at this point in time. But anyway, let's have a look. Change uh, in 2001 made it more difficult for New Zealand and Australia to attain citizenship. Today we have announced from 1st July 2023. So a couple, um, uh, how many months? Two, three, two and a half months to go. For all the Kiwis living in Australia, I've got numbers of my mates. Uh, I'm going to send this news to them. Uh, they will have the direct pathway to become Australian. So all special category visa holders, that is the subclass 444. Uh, that is automatic visa. Uh, as long as you are a New Zealand passport holders, once you arrive in Australia, you will automatically be given this subclass 444. Now this subclass 444 visa was created back in 2001, which allows the Kiwis to live in Australia permanently, but not becoming a citizen. And if you want to become a citizen, you need to apply for a permanent migration. So a permanently uh, residual visa required to apply for another permanent visa and then to be another uh, apply again for citizenship. So you see the, the, the problem there and no wonder in the past 20 years all the Kiwis residing in Australia forget about it why do I need to provide you know apply for another permanent residency whilst I'm living here with the right to permanently already it doesn't make any sense doesn't it okay anyway um it's a fair change for the New Zealander, okay? And many New Zealand citizens choose to live and contribute in Australia. So it's reasonable and an opportunity to become Australian citizen. It's also at the time where uh, a post-pandemic era where uh, as you see the growth of the economy of Australia, uh, although the current Labour government is not dictating or trying to say we, we're moving ahead into a big Australia's idea, which was coined by the previous uh, PM, Kevin Rudd, but we can see the pathway going to that route is definitely there. And obviously the, the former government, uh, the Liberal National Government had, uh, uh, well, they did all right, but they, they didn't utilize the policy of immigration in the right direction and they created a lot of backlog and things so anyway not gonna go into that detail so the quotes attribute for from the PM he says Australia and New Zealand have deep relation friendship which has been forged through history share value common outlook uh, we mark the 50th anniversary of trains Tasman travel arrangement I look forward to strengthening that relationship we know that the New Zealand are here on a special category visa while raising family, working, building their lives in Australia. So, 
I'm proud to offer the benefit of citizenship provides. And Claire O'Neill, the Minister of Home Affairs, also have some words. So Aussie and the Kiwis have shared the shared a special bond. Is it important? Uh, today's change of strengthening ties, uh, ensuring deep, strong connections. So again, it's it's basically the same thing. So let's uh, let's summarize this. So basically, from first July. I believe it's gonna be less than 500 bucks for the um, application fees required for all the Kiwi who have been holding the special category visa subclass triple four and living in Australia for continuously. I believe that's that will be the criteria for four years in order to apply for Australian citizenship directly, not going through permanent residency. Remember the previous uh, the New Zealand stream was required to provide a certain you have been coming to Australia from from certain period of time and required to demonstrate all the crap and also paying taxes, employment and all that. Although it's much easier than the traditional general skill migration, but for a Kiwi living in Australia holding a special category visa, a triple four visa that allow them to permanently live in Australia and work in Australia why would they apply for another permanent residency while they can already have the right to live in Australia permanently? So it doesn't really make any sense. So uh, I think this uh, this news uh, and this new policy is very welcoming, and also it it adds to the attribute of what the coming up uh, visa uh, changes. Remember, we have learned from last weekend that the uh, Minister of Home Affairs, Claire O'Neill, also announced the overhaul of the visa system. Despite there's a possibly a scrap on the one way visa, but all the other type of skill visa. Well, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I wanted to hear about it. And uh, Miss Cleone has also told the media that the coming two weeks or three, there will be a lot of policy announcements. So anyway, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, should you have any comments, you can leave it down right there. Anyway, I see you next video. Goodbye.